Eaton FRX3 Plus. A unique and careful design, reliability, and great features have contributed to the success of Eaton's FRX series. The series includes popular products like Eaton FRX5, Sidekick, and Scorpion. Even the FRX3 and FRX3 Plus are hugely successful. These radios also happen to be endorsed by the American Red Cross. Technically, that doesn't affect the radio, but it is reassuring to see a respectable organization backing your emergency radio. So what's the difference between the FRX3 and FRX3 Plus? The answer is technical changes that keep the radio competitive with the changing technology. Originally, the FRX3 had a 600 ma NIM battery. That battery would be acceptable a decade ago, but the modern world needs something more powerful. So Eden replaced the NIM battery with a lithium-ion battery, offering 2600 ma. As an added benefit, the lithium-ion battery makes the radio lighter and more dependable. It's also useful for charging your mobile phone from the radio, should you need a boost for the phone battery. Though the design is very similar to the Eden FRX5-BT and Sidekick, the FRX3 Plus misses out on some features, like Bluetooth and auxiliary connection. The FRX3 Plus doesn't have a dimmer and lamp either. The radio picks up AM and FM transmissions. It also tunes to the seven NOAA weather channels and can receive alerts in case of inclement weather. You can employ the included telescopic antenna for better signal clarity where necessary. It is a digital radio with a small but clear display. Two knobs at the front manage the volume and tuning. Meanwhile, most of the control buttons are placed at the top, under the handle and solar panels. As with other radios in the FRX series, something that can be annoying is that the button can be tough to reach, especially for those of us with pudgy fingers. There are multiple ways to power the Eaton FRX3+. Plus. The most common option is the micro USB connector for power from a computer, power bank, or AC wall adapter. Then there's the hand crank at its front with the logo of the American Red Cross. Another option is the solar panel on top of the radio's handle. Let it soak in the sun for about six hours and the battery should be full or nearly there. Or you could use three AAA batteries to get it going immediately. Other features include a LED flashlight and a red flashing beacon for SOS to use in the event of an emergency. Overall, the NFRX3 Plus is reasonably priced and is reliable. That makes a good choice for outdoor use or regular emergency preparedness. To sum up what we like is the good mix of features and value, good build quality, and the powerful 2600 ma lithium ion battery. On the downside, control buttons are awkward awkwardly placed and difficult to read and reach. Our ratings for functionality are 8 out of 10. Reliability, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. Battery, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8 out of 10. So what do you think? Is this the best emergency radio for you? Or do you think another radio is better? Check another video where we reviewed the top 5 emergency radios to see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.